but I see myself definitely like I'd be scared to talk to anyone I'd be scared to talk to like new people or come up approach new people but um, this helped me out you know just and even now like sometimes I feel I'm like I'm scared and that's why I have Eric with me filming or that's why I have other people that are like all right just go and do it go and do it and that's like one of my biggest messages on TikTok too to just encourage people to do it even though it might be hard it might be like a little bit awkward in the in the sequence but I think you know that if, if you just like go and do it anyone could do it and I think it's possible for any person. Alright, what's up guys? Yeah. Hey, I'm Chris Larry. Nice to meet you, man. Eric Chambra. Eric Chambra? Nice yeah. to meet you. That's John Reese and I. The man. Yeah, you me, must yeah. be mom, right? Yep, I do know someone. Nice to meet you guys. Well, welcome to Sac State. Thank um, you. I know this is where you guys do a lot of your videos. Uh, let's take a look together. Yeah, All right. let's do yeah. it. With John, Talk to me about when you had that initial reaction when he started making videos. How did you feel about it? Were you concerned? Were you happy? What, what kind of went through your head? Well, first he was doing like pranks. Mm -hmm. And it was just like a funny things to watch him. He enjoyed his life and doing some, something he likes. And it wasn't like serious. Like, you know, I thought it was just like, you know, something he will do it and, and that's it. But. I guess it's growing up more and more. <laughs> it's taking stairs and whatever he's doing right now, that's what he's doing. What kind of ways were you, I guess, like shocked when it really became a success? Did you ever think it would get to that point or what did that feel no, like for you? No, I wasn't. But uh, <laughs> one day we went to Washington and we was just in a public place eating in a restaurant and people come and they're like, oh my God, that's a John. Can I take a picture of you? And I was like, is that really, like, that's famous on you? Like, you know, I was shocked. So I know at the beginning of your video journey, mm -hmm. you started doing pranks. So I want to ask, uh, what can you tell me about those days in Walmart with the fishing pole <laughs> and the wallet? Who told you that? <laughs> fishing, yeah, that's, that's how I started off. Um, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. So the moment when I started doing YouTube, I noticed that, that's what was trending. That's what was big on YouTube. That's how you get views. And I'm like, all right, I'm chasing for these views. So, of course, I started off with pranks. I started doing pranks that I thought of, some that weren't the best, not the smartest. Um, and yeah, like like you said, the wallet fishing prank, I would attach, I would have a whole huge fishing pole, I would attach a wallet to the string, throw it out, cast it out, and just wait for somebody to pick it up. And then I'll just reel it in when <laughs> they try to go for it. You being the student here, you're kind of John's sort of like inside key oh, yeah. of getting these interviews done around campus, all these man on the street interviews. Uh, so do you kind of help pick the people you guys talk to where you're oh, kind of yeah. going around? Yeah, Tell definitely. me about that process a little bit. Um, it's funny because sometimes, you know, John is such an eccentric guy, like he just wants to interview everyone, but you know, I kind of, since I'm the cameraman, I keep a close eye on the people. I could see when they're on the phone or not. So I'm like, hey, okay, John, they're on the phone. Let's not come up to them. You know, let's not invade the personal space. Or I could see when someone's in a hurry, you know, we don't want to get them late for a class. What are kind of the people that you're like, okay, they might mm -hmm. talk to us. They might yeah. be down for this. Definitely people that are, you know, have smiles on their face. They look like they're happy. You know, we definitely want to come up to them because it always gives like a little positive kickback into to the video. It's like they're down to do it. They're, you know, they're down to trade whatever they have in their backpacks or, you know, give us a funny little comment on the video because they're just happy overall and they're like just a little jittery, you know, so mm -hmm. it kind of gives a whole different vibe to the video instead of, you know, being a shy person, like barely talking. It's like, okay, you know, it, it's a cool video still, but we'd rather have you know, a more positive person who just amps up the video itself. Yes. Was this sort of a surprise to you that he started doing the videos, doing mm -hmm. YouTube, stuff like that? Or did you think like, at first, I saw this coming? Yeah. No, at first it was a shock when he first started doing videos. I kind of even laughed at him back then. I'm like, man, you know, like this is not going to go anywhere. Like we're just, we're just normal <laughs> kids, you know? Yeah. Uh, it was definitely a shock back then. But as, as I saw him grow more and more confident in his videos, it definitely 
came as like, wow, he's suited for this. This is this is a lifestyle for him, and so I really became more supportive of it. Like at first, yeah, it was super shocking. I was like even laughing at him, but now it's just like, wow, he he really made it. You know, he really mm-hmm. the hard work paid off. So I'm happy. Cool. For him. Let's go a little bit further behind the scenes. Um, talk to me a little about how you guys do the editing. Um, how I edit my videos, I pretty much edit to the point where I'm like, okay, this is good, and I would personally watch it. Um, and that would take me like sometimes hours, sometimes it would take me like, you know, sometimes I just like film the whole video, put a lot of money into it, and I'm just like, okay, this is horrible, and I just decide not to post it because I don't want to post content that I think is like, okay, type of deal. Got it. It's funny, actually, like a lot of times, we shoot something and I'm like, oh man, that looks so good. And John's like, no, we have to reshoot it. It's more look good. And I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, <laughs> we, we got exactly. it. And he's like, no, man. He's like, I know it's not gonna do good. So yeah. we have to reshoot it. Man, there's a lot of times where we have to reshoot stuff just so it could look better and it could yep. be, m- look more appealing, you know, so. So when we were we were following you guys around as you were filming earlier, a few people were like, "Oh, I know you. I've seen your videos. I've seen your TikToks." Uh, Eric, I wanted to ask from your standpoint, um, how does that kind of feel watching your friend get recognized for you know it, the kind it, of the little things man, you guys do? It, like, what's great, that like? It's a great feeling. I honestly, I, every time someone recognizes us, I'm like thinking back in my head, I'm so proud of John. Like watching him grow up from you know a small little kid with a dream to someone that gets recognized out in public you know and it's warmed by people trying to take pictures with him and stuff it's like it's really like a happy moment for me because i'm like wow i really watched him grow i really like at first i didn't believe in him but now like i see you know his hard work pay off so it's, it's just like it's a great feeling like i'm i'm like actually really happy for him on the inside and i just can't you know wait to see what the future has to bring us you know so Hey, thanks for believing. (laughs) You can find John Rusinov at John Rusinov on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And be on the lookout for John and Eric across campus and across Sacramento. This is Arson Entertainment reporter Chris Woodard. Stay up to date with campus news at www.statehornet.com.